hey, 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 beautiful people. It's my birthday and it's your birthday too. Don't say congratulations just to me. Say congratulations to yourself. Say happy birthday to yourself because everything that you possibly can want, dream or desire or require is coming your way right now. The only prerequisite is that you put on your full power. All of your power from past, from present, uh, lifetimes and spaces and dimensions, take it on right now because once you assume the position that is fully yours, you begin to walk and talk and uh, uh, be in authority. Your your greatest uh, possession or position is to be, to be, to exist and to move, not just to survive, but to thrive. And so that's part of my uh, wish for you today. Uh, It's uh, quite comical that you have um, some of these things where you wish, make one wish over your cake and that's supposed to come true. No, let me tell you something. I am the resolution. I am the wish. Okay. (laughs) So today I decided that I'm not only going to give, but I'm going to give the gift that keeps on giving. Because today my one wish, if I had one wish, and I have more than one, but if I had one wish, this would be the one for you. And I am the whole world and I'm sharing that with you because this one wish is so catastrophic to the mindset of uh, lack and shame that you would not believe. And so when I exist this, when I release, oh my God, I said when I exist this, meaning when I say it and I release it out of my mouth, the moment that I release it, it exists, right? And when I release this to you, it's already done. You just have to be open and receptive to it. And one of the reasons why I came back on this kind of subliminal at this particular time is because sometimes you need to hear the words. Any of you who have followed me for, uh, you know, any amount of time, you understand that you have to take on the right posture in order to receive, right? You have to take on the right posture in order for things to work for you, meaning you have to take on the mindset that it's already done before it can get done, right? Even in the face of what seems like impossible, you have to look at the face of, uh, of the impossible like it's death and say, yeah, whatever, I've already been dead, so what? What? <laughs> that's the way you have to take on a mentality. It's really, it's kind of a rebellious spirit against the rebellion, right? You have to be able to say, no, you know, we're not going to bow down no matter what you do. And whether he saves us or not, we're still not going to bow down to you, right? So that's the posture that you have to take. So today, I just want to break down what the uh, intention is, what the existence of your life now is. Uh, And I want you to know exactly what each and every word means in this thing, right? So, the thought today is, it is yours. Sudden, permanent wealth and wisdom with divine love for me and mine to build, grow, and enjoy. Say it again. This is what it is. For me, sudden, permanent wealth and wisdom with divine love for me and mine to build, grow, and enjoy. Why would I say sudden? Most people don't get the full awareness of the importance of economics, financial wellness, until they are in the middle of poo poo. Mm-hmm. That's a word today. You require it now. I release you from any sorts of feelings of shame and lack. And I'll have you, I'll point you towards the front of the book for believers. In abundance, the enemy came and introduced lack and shame. So this is an old game. This has been around for millions of years. And I want you to know there's no such thing as lack and shame, except in your mind. And today we're going to put it out with this. That's why we say sudden, permanent, because this is going on forever. I don't just want you to have a good day, then a bad day, then a good day, then a bad day. No, no, no. That's schizophrenic faith. Schizophrenic spirituality doesn't work. 
So I want you to know it's sudden, it's permanent, it's bringing harm to no one. No one has to die. No one. How many of you know you can receive an inheritance from a person that's still alive? <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about that shift right now. I'm talking about that shift. That shift, right? I want it to be permanent wealth. Why? Because we switch all the time what our needs, what our wants are. They change all the time. Things happen where finances uh, have to underwrite whatever is going on. So it has to be permanent, right? So this mindset in and of itself is going to be within you. The mindset of wealth and wisdom and divine love. Why wealth? Listen, wealth must include health. You cannot spell wealth without health. You cannot spell health. Oh. <laughs> I like to say health where the W is silent. <laughs> because the greatest wealth that you can have is your health. Because what's the use of having wealth if you don't have health, if you're not around to enjoy it? So wealth and wisdom, you need the wisdom to go along with it. Like uh, the great uh, uh, architects of our time, like King Solomon, you know, where you say his name and it's synonymous with wisdom because it wasn't so much that he prayed for things, but he prayed for the wisdom to manage those things. So that's why I said with wealth and wisdom, and it is implied that it is divine, divine wisdom. So I pray for divine help, divine wisdom, divine knowledge, divine love. Love has covered a multitude of sin. Love is going to blot out all of those transgressions. Love is going to allow you not to be stuck on something crazy you did 25 years ago. Stop it. The devil is a whole lie and the truth is not in him. And the truth is for you today. I was talking yesterday to somebody and something came out of my spirit. I was like, oh, I know that was God because I didn't say that. (laughs) And I said, why would you fight against yourself when your true self is rooting for you yourself right now? Why would you fight against yourself? Uh Uh-huh. And when your true self is vying for your best self. So I want you to realize that the real you is really in you. The real you is over there enjoying and basking in those things that you see yourself in, but you don't know how. I want you to tell I want you to get unstuck today and tell you it's not about how. It's not about how. You need to make a decision that this is what you want to do and this is what you'll be doing on the other side as far as your eye can see and that whoever it is that's over there that is you, that that, that really is buried inside of you, is going to lead you down the path that is the way that you need to go. And understand this, the way that you go is not the way that everybody else has gone. So don't look for a blueprint because your blueprint is truly yours. Oh, my God in heaven. So when I say for me and mine, this is the beauty of this want, this desire that is required of your soul today. Because when I say me and mine, it means something totally different than when you say you and yours or me and mine when you say it, right? When I say me and mine, it's for me and my community. My community happens to include you. It includes my community. It it includes my clients, my customers. It includes my family, my friends, my family of friends, the people that I love, the people I love the most and the ones that love me back. But when you say it, it takes on a whole different mantra. And that's the beauty of getting results. People want to tell you, you want to move faster. You want to manifest faster. The way that I see things move very, very quickly is when you honestly, not because you need something, not because you're in dire straits or in desperation, but when you begin to open it up and say, for me and everyone I love, everyone I care about, my community, people I've never seen before, people I'll never meet, but they are attached to me. They're looking at my video. They're listening to my voice. I don't know who they are. They might not even care to know me, but guess what? They I, <laughs> they may not even realize I'm the best thing that ever happened to them because not even their family is wishing that they get hundreds of millions of dollars. Oh, yes. Understand, when you take this on... That you are spreading the love. That is what wealth is. It's not about you in your slumber, in your dire straits. It's about you praying for someone else that nobody else is praying for. It's about you wishing and dreaming and wishing the well and putting the goodness and grace of God that is in you on them. Right? And that's how it expands. That's the way love goes is what Janet said. So that's what I'm sharing with you today. And then 
I assign everything that I require to a task. So when I say to build, to grow, and to enjoy, that's exactly what I mean. That you are not gifted wealth just to sit on and let it hoard up and then, you know, uh, hoard that over other people or lord that over other people. No, it is for you to build something that helps others that cannot help themselves at all. But if they would, if they could, right? I want you to be a builder. I want you to be someone who grows money. I want this to be so much of a project for you uh, that is so easy and so simple that whatever dollar you get, you multiply it at least seven times, not just for you, but for others. I pray that the philanthropist in you begins to arise so that you look for opportunities because that's what your person is doing on the other side. The person on the other side who has everything that they want, need, and could possibly desire is looking to see how many organizations and people that can they help that have no other means of getting that help. Right? So that's where the divine love comes in. It will open up your heart. It will soften your heart and it will strengthen your resolve to make sure that there is no one in your cipher, that there's no one in your vicinity that is lacking in any way. And you coming from a place of lack, coming from a place in a whole lifetime of shame and lack, you are the one in the hour that is designated to this particular project because you know what it is to be without it. Remember who you are and remember who you came from. Okay? So let's go today. Let's go. Let's go. We have the right posture. We have the right mindset of humility, of love, and of joy. And we declare today that for us, sudden, permanent wealth and wisdom with divine love is ours for us and ours to build to grow and to enjoy sudden permanent wealth and wisdom with divine love for me and mine to build grow and enjoy